it's the group Kentucky in here with you from Dead Pit Radio. And today we have something a little bit different that we're taking a look at for review. Our buddies over at Unearth Films finally brought this thing out. It had been making its rounds for years and years on film festival circuits and conventions, uh, film festivals, all that. There's been talk about this for over a decade at this point. I think this thing was finished in 2014. And then they were making tweaks to it here and there and everywhere, whatever. And fans of hardcore cinema will definitely have to check this thing out. Now, is it something that I'll go back and watch with family, friends, and neighbors? Probably not. You want to pick who you watch this with very carefully. This is an anthology film, the collection of 10 different stories, 10 different directors from all across the globe. The name of this movie, if you want to call it a movie, eh, I don't know. The Profane Exhibit from Unearth Films on Blu-ray Death, if you will. Now, this one came out just recently from Unearth Films. We are going to take a look at the film itself, 108-minute movie, kind of a movie, uh, anthology, kind of, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, the directors behind it, going to go through the segments. Is there any particular segment that kind of sticks out for me? Uh, we'll talk about that. The extra features, all that good stuff in this review. Let's get into it, boys. Let's get profane. Over a decade in the making, the Profane Exhibit from 2013 features 10 horror directors that team up in this extreme horror anthology. Some of the directors include Jeremy Castan of Thirst, Attic Expeditions, Theater Bazaar, Uwe Boll of House of the Dead, Ruggiero Diodato, everybody knows him, Anthony de Blasi of Malum, Marion Dora, Ryan Nicholson of Live Feed and Gutter Balls, Yoshihiro Nishimura, Michael Todd Snyder, Sergio Stivaletti, and Nacho Vigilando. They all have their own features, up to about 10 minutes in length, some as short as three or four minutes. All across the globe, directors uh, in a vulgar display of gruesomeness in these episodes. Uva Bowl's Basement, uh, that segment features Clint Howard and Carolyn Williams in which Clint Howard is keeping his daughter captive in the basement and doing some bad things to her he shouldn't be doing. It's his daughter. Another memorable segment, Ryan Nicholson's Good Wife. If anybody out there has kept up with Ryan Nicholson's work, who sadly passed away a few years ago, this dude, very, very talented. It was a makeup effects artist turned director that uh, unfortunately never got the fame that he really deserved as far as the filmmaker goes. But yeah, The Good Wife is definitely probably my favorite episode. And that's the thing about this. You can't really talk about the plot to these because there's 10 of them and they're very, very brief. So just keep in mind 10 different stories. Some of them are just like that. Like Ruggiero Diodato's story was literally like as long as a music video or something, like three or four minutes. And sometimes the longer ones are the ones that really aren't that good. As the profane exhibit something that I'll watch again, probably not, probably not. But it's very well made. Um, some of the effects and everything in it are really, really well done, professionally done and everything. I think initially Stephen Byro of Unearthed Films was producer on this. They had kind of high hopes for this. I know there were other directors that were attached originally. I don't have the, you know, I'm not an expert on the history of this movie, but it's been a long time coming, getting this thing out. It is from technically from 2013, but nobody, unless you saw it in the, you know, the, one of the film festivals, nobody had ever seen it. So, but it is out now finally from Under Films on Blu-ray. It comes with a nice slip cover and art and everything. 
we're going to talk about some of the special features included in this. The prof it's profane, the profane exhibit. Included is an audio commentary by director Michael Todd Snyder, producer Amanda Manuel, and Ultraviolet Magazine's Art Edinger. A world premiere interview, a world premiere Q&A. Ten years later by Marion Dora. Sergio Stivaletti's Tafet Quarium. Awakened. Tiffany Blam interviews Michael Todd Schneider. Tiffany Blam interviews Uwe Boll. Tiffany Blam interviews Amanda Manuel. Tiffany Mam interviews Jeremy Castin. Galleries and trailers and more in the profane exhibit. Again, is this for everybody? No. There's some gruesome shit in this. Some people get paid on. Uh, so if you're not in, I mean, there may be a, there may be plenty of people out there that enjoy the golden showers of tonight, tomorrow, and next week. Uh, there's a lot of gruesome stuff in this, gory stuff, offensive stuff. You know, this kind of the crowd they were going for with the profane exhibit that is on our film's crowd. You know, I, one major plea for me and other films is these guys would make a fucking fortune if they came out with a Blu-ray of the guinea pig movies. They come out with a DVD box set years and years and years ago, uh, 20 years ago at this point. The Blu-ray version. Come out with the Blu-ray version, man, and people would fucking, they would smear their shit, basically, if that ever came out. I don't know what the deal is with that, why it hasn't, but, um, a whole new generation of people can get fucked up with the profane exhibit and, of course, the guinea pig, the, the, the original Japanese guinea pig movies on uh, Blu-ray. So check it out. Profane exhibit is out now from our good friends over at Unearth Films. Check them out. Be sure to check us out. We are over at deadpit.com. I'd like to tell people to thumbs up the video, Uncle Bill. Would you? Yes. Thumbs it up with violence and fury. And just love everything about it. You hit the heart button, and you hit the ass button, and you hit the go fuck yourself button. Follow that up with the I don't give a shit button. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpit.com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others. But they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com Special thanks goes out to our supporters on Patreon. Do you know what kind of stuff you can get on Patreon, Uncle Bill, starting at only $1 a month? What's that? Access to every Dead Pit show since 2005. we got almost 200 fan commentaries that we've done over the decades. We have a literal jukebox full of songs and thousands of reviews. I don't even know how many shows are up on there now that we've done over the years. Hundreds of thousands. You need to figure this out now and subscribe to us on Patreon and YouTube and Instagram and help us to one million. The, the road to a million subscribers starts today. So deadpitonpatreon.com. Join today. Tiers start at only a dollar, but I'd recommend at least the $10 tier. You can do 50. The stock market's crashing around us, folks, but send us money. 